pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Chisel. Here. Neil. Here. Carlson. Here. Luce. Here. Bergen. Here. Hadley. Here. Johnson. Here. Is there anyone present who would like to speak to the council in reference to anything that is not on the agenda? Did we have a Costa Rica report? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing none. Uh, consent agenda. We could. Consent agenda consists of the minutes of the January 21, 2020 meeting, claims and renewal Class E liquor license for Fairway, including Class B wine and Class C beer privileges. Move the consent agenda. Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Luce? Aye. Bergen? Aye. Chisel? Aye. Neal? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Hadley? Aye. Request from Brian and Amanda Hinker to drill a well and put in septic system within the city limits. Can I give background on that? So a little background on this. Uh, there's some information in your packet. Um, city Code Section 1336 prohibits private wells um, on private property uh, with a couple of exceptions. Those exceptions uh, include the point of the water use being greater than 300 feet from an accessible distribution water main owned and controlled by the city um, or the proposed private well is needed due to extraordinary circumstances caused by the location of the property within the city which if private groundwater sources were not used would work an extraordinary hardship upon the property owners. Um, Amanda Hinker is here um, and can certainly speak to the the case here, but uh, they are developing this property here into a single family residence. Uh, this is the oblique view, and I show that one because it, it gives a review of, of the topography. Um, and this image here is uh, more just the direct uh, traditional beacon view. Um, and so they're, they're building up into that clearing up by the woods there, so that distance uh, is greater than uh, 300 feet. It's actually probably closer to 400 feet as the crow flies and maybe up to 500 feet um, in terms of the most efficient way to trench or dig the water um, around to the back of the residence. Uh, the Hinker's home will sit on this new residential lot in such a position that it renders um, accessing the public supply uh, very difficult. Um, it also, because of the change in elevation, um, while not spoken to or provided criteria in the code, there could be a significant drop in pressure from the main on college up to the residents, um, further complicating the issue for, for the water um, and possibly necessitating the installation of a pressurized tank system within the home, um, which estimates could be anywhere up to $2,500, $3,000 just for that pressurized system to give the residents mm -hmm. an equal amount of water pressure that other citizens enjoy uh, in the community. So um, I don't know if the council has any questions about the conditions. Any stipulation about subdivision? Uh, no. Um, and I, maybe that'd be something that Amanda would want to talk about. Um, at this time, it's, it's proposed as single family. How many acres is it right there? Excuse me? How many acres? How many is acres? It right there? Uh, that 3. I don't remember. Two. Well, that was my reason for my question was regarding if it's a single family well that's being authorized if anything else was built there or if they sold part of it off is that not allowable um, I, you know you could certainly put that condition on it um, but I would look at 
at, uh, I mean, the code doesn't speak to those kinds of conditions. Um, and so that would be something that the council would just have to either put as a contingency on it or a prohibition or require if it's subdivided and similar conditions exist that they come back and seek another permit. Well, that's sort of my, my question. If they're only asking for a single family well, that's what they're saying, aren't they? That if anything else was developed on that, they recognize they would kind need to. Kind of implied, to but you should make that clear, right? So that would be a stipulation yeah. I would yeah. suggest. Is there any concern, maybe it's for Jeremy, with septic in that area, a septic system? So I didn't touch on that, and I'll, I'll let uh, Jeremy talk about that too. The code's a little less clear in terms of requirements or uh, specifications on septic. Um, however, uh, there are SUDAS uh, requirements in that in terms of slope and separation of, of solids from liquids in there without pump stations or lift stations and things like that. So um, putting those things in and making that sewer connection, um, you know, the cost I think there was estimated at you know, over $45,000 because of having to do those types of things. Um, so again, I, I think the staff perspective is that you know that is kind of a hardship there. To yeah, I think to answer your question, um, we really refer to the county um, code zone and the mobile flooding lane easement on this section. And it really relies on the section of the code. So we have concerns from people that we did not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay. Jeremy, do you have any concerns at all? Why not? Why we shouldn't grant this? I would make a motion to allow. Second. Any further discussion? Was the question just, I mean, was you saying that the well is up on the hill? other discussion? Did you want to put that stipulation in, in regarding single use? We've I think it's appropriate, but I don't we've I got don't another we've got another development in town here that's got a shared mm -hmm. well and septic. So I mean if that as long happens, as they happens, as long as they build it to as long as it meets the sanitation Okay. Well, I'm okay with it. I think there are a couple of houses up by Sunflower that are on septic and, and don't have city water. And I think your dad's place, My dad too, too. Yeah. is there. More the septic. I just want to make sure that it's... Well, and Remington's and Redenius's. Right. right. Well, right. that variance yeah. for the same reason. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're on their own. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call. Oops. Sorry. Chisel? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Luce? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Headley? Aye. Bergen? Aye. Neal? Aye. Now we'll move down to number eight. Consider resolution 3044 setting March 16th, 545. Well, hold on. Yep, you can't you can't do that one until after you have a public oh, sorry. hearing and, and hold it. <laughs> right, that was all ready to go. The other. And uh, just a closing comment then too on the um, Brian and Amanda Hinker um, permit. So. Uh, there will be some requirements that uh, Todd and Jeremy will have to work with the DNR and your um, well company to satisfy some other requirements as noted in the code, leaking underground storage tanks being one of them, um, although I don't think that's a problem. But we do have to verify that before we will uh, officially issue the permit. So there's still a couple other things that we'll have to do at the staff level. So, And that takes us to this report. City manager. Yeah, so here we are, <laughs> kind of sitting and waiting, right? Um, so I had a couple of uh, things to share with the council. One, the Winship County um, 2020 Hazard Mitigation Plan uh, is in its kind of final stages. Uh, there is a copy of it in your Dropbox for review. 
Um, so that plan has been under review um, for most of 2019, at least late 2019, uh, and it's wrapping up its adoption. So if you have any further um, questions or concerns or want to review it, it's in your Dropbox. I think most of you have been to some of the meetings uh, over the last year. So. Um, and I think I had one other thing here, but I'm not finding it now, so I'll move it on to department heads. Um, Dave, or anybody back there? We had a, a hired a dispatcher. We, if you remember a while back, I think it was back in December, we went through the hiring process for a dispatcher, made an offer to a young lady, and she turned it down on offer. We started that whole testing process again. We just completed it, hired a young lady out of walk on. She's a CNA, and she'll be starting in about a week. Okay. Gala this weekend? One more? Yeah. yeah. Friday night? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're getting there, but Randy, do you have anything? Uh, yes. The <clears throat> Budget Committee met last week to do a little further discussion on the nonprofits from the budget meeting and just decided that what we had talked about that night we're going to go with. So. Okay. Keep it flat. Um, I actually just wanted to check on something. <laughs> so we had talked about doing the sustainability plan on the 17th yes, that's and correct. having on the, the meeting. Correct. And I didn't know, Ted, John, if we were able to see a draft of a sustainability commission ordinance. By then? Yeah. Well, we had talked about mm -hmm. maybe even voting on that that night, but we would need to see it ahead of time if that's possible. Um, and then... Uh, Rachel Brummel approached me today. She's going to be teaching a course up at Luther on <laughs> systems change and really anxious to have her students helping do some data collection um, process stuff for maybe the sustainability plan. And I think, I'm not looking at all our department heads here, but um, I think that students would be interested maybe in talking to department heads and seeing if there is any way that they could gather some data, collect some information that might be useful to your department um, in the things that you do. Um, and just some of the thoughts we had were some kind of traffic study or maybe even in public safety thinking about uh, collecting some community surveys that you might need. So I think students may be interested in talking to our department heads about that and hoping we can have those conversations because I think there are lots of professors interested in having students engage in some of our needs. You have a final copy of the plan? Yeah, so it's, I sent it to you. It is, should okay. be posted. And right. if not, I can resend that it. That is the final copy then, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's got page numbers and everything's marked up as we talked about. Okay. Um, I just like to, are you done now? Yep. Okay. 
um, utility meeting for next Monday the 10th uh, at 5 p.m. for all my utility committee people out there. Does that sound good? Agreeable? Okay. Yes. Say it again. February 10th, next 10th. Monday, 5. Okay, it's uh, 5.45. Oh, um, we have a public hearing scheduled for consideration, considering the proposed maximum property tax levy for fiscal year 21. Um, do you want to give some... Yeah, Mayor, and didn't mean to cut you off there as you were trying to be efficient no. and take care of item number eight, but um, this uh, Senate file 634, Truth and Taxation, um, is very prescriptive in terms of what has to happen, and part of that is that these three items happen in this order. Um, Senate file 634, Truth and Taxation, the bill requires cities and counties to inform residents when property values may increase overall. Uh, this legislation was passed uh, and signed by the governor on July 1 of 2019. Section 384.15A requires adoption of a resolution to establish the total maximum property tax dollars that may be certified for levy for general services. And the distinction there between maximum and what your budget may be is that if you plugged in every levy rate that you would be eligible for, you arrive at a maximum levy in general services. So it doesn't include that service, for example. Right? Uh, there is a background sheet, um, the notice uh, in your Dropbox. Uh, it does show the decrease in valuation of negative 1.58%. Um, but plugging in those maximum values for the general services, um, it's 6.57% increase last year, this year over last year, proposed uh, over this year um, as a maximum levy rate. Uh, the, uh, to raise taxes by more than the 2%, the council would need a two-thirds vote. So it's our interpretation that because this is at 6.57, this resolution will require two-thirds vote of the council. The bill provides for two public hearings. This is the first of two. This is the new one uh, provided for in the legislation. The second one, um, which will be item eight, resolution 3044, uh, would be set for March 16th. The um, date that budgets are to be certified and sent to the county auditor um, to be forwarded on to the state has been extended to March 31st. It used to be March 15th uh, to make room for this second public hearing. Um, all of the things I think are generally the same. So, Wanda, anything else to add that I've uh, overlooked? The only thing I would add is that you are not going to be at 6.5%. <laughs> right. I'd like to reiterate that too, <laughs> public. <laughs> okay, I'll open the public hearing. Is there anyone who wishes to speak um, to this matter? Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Consider resolu resolution 3045, approving the proposed maximum property tax levy for fiscal year 21. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Luce? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Neal? Aye. Chisel? Aye. Bergen? Aye. Hadley? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Resolution 3044, setting March 16th, 545, as the date time for a public hearing on the proposed fiscal year 21 budget. I move resolution uh, acceptance of resolution 3044. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Hadley? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Luce? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Neal? Aye. Chisel? Aye. Bergen? Aye. Okay. So then, I think we were at you, Steve. Were you done? Uh, no, I was just going to say one more thing. If people uh, could, ever, everyone should go out and caucus tonight, regardless of who your candidate is. Do your civic duty. Chad, have you ever think from Smith about a meeting on Wednesday? Uh, I have not. So that would 
be the traditional time to meet the first Wednesday, and I haven't heard anything, so I'm not sure at that point. But it's, yeah, yeah um, you know, and, and just getting back after vacation, Wanda did tell me that uh, applications have been submitted and information is in uh, her office uh, to move forward with the renewal of the SMIT. This is the end of the 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so Wanda's working through that timeline. Um, there are public notices uh, mailing that's required. Um, and a public hearing. Um, the one really kind of crazy thing in the schedule is that once you hold a public hearing, you can't take action for 30 days. And so we'll have to sit and wait for that to transpire. So, but otherwise, sounds like all the applications, he's got the applicable percentage and whatnot. So we'll be bringing that forward to renew that Smith district. Do we have a timeline on that perspective? Um, I think the last action, it'll depend because it's ordinance, so it depends on whether you consider all three readings of the ordinance. Um, without going into a lot of detail, we'll recommend that you don't. Um, it would be the first meeting in April when it would be finalized. Thank you. Nothing other than that. Uh, I'd echo Andy's message to participate in democracy and caucus tonight. Uh, and then alert the council that Superintendent Mark Lane has reached out to the mayor and council to engage in discussions about partnership. So we will continue to report back as those discussions happen. Class? Nothing, Mayor. Nothing, Mayor. Oh. oh, yeah, classes start back up Wednesday for Luther. <laughs> okay. So just letting you all know. And you were doing something for J-Term. So, yeah, I uh, interned under Representative Mark Bergen, and I was at the state capitol. Since I'm from Des Moines, the south side, actually, it was very convenient for me, and I just went to the state capitol every day for J-Term. Good. So, yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, the only thing I have is that I'm going to um, – Make a proclamation for February 13, 2020, for Iowa Honey Bee Day. It's to encourage all citizens, residents, and visitors to join in observing this day and focusing on the importance of honeybees to our state economy, to enjoy the honey and other products of honeybees, and to recognize the honeybee's role in maintaining our Iowa environment, and to assist in reducing the threats to honeybees um, for survival in our state. Other than that, is there anything else? Thanks. Move. Move to adjourn. Okay.